welcome friends today we'll be learning about the relationship between work and energy so here one example is given a boy is playing with a toy car now when the boy pushes the toy car by applying the muscular force the toy car will be displaced right it will there will be some displacement now in other words we can say the transformation of the boy's energy into work has taken place through the applied force right now let us consider one more example suppose you are doing an exercise with your friends and you have decided to run around a ground with your friends so do all the friends have the same capacity for running no some friends might run for two rounds some might some might run for more more rounds than you some might run for less rounds than you right so your friends will complete either more or less rounds than the number of rounds you have completed the number of rounds will not be the same right some will get tired on completing the completing two rounds while others will get tired on completing three or four rounds this is to say each one's capacity to complete rounds is not same you can complete only as many rounds as you have the capacity for so number of rounds completed will depend will be dependent on how much capacity you have now the capacity to do work is called energy so what is the definition of energy the capacity to do work is called energy now here few questions are asked based on the work and energy why do you get hungry after physical exercise now physical exercise requires to spend you are required to spend some energy while doing the physical exercise right you are applying your muscular force also so you need you feel the need to have more energy after the exercise so that's why you get hungry after physical exercise now it is very important to have the all the nutrients through your food then only you can have the good physical health now from where does our body get energy we have already studied this our main source of energy is from food and that too from carbohydrates so what is the nutrient that provides us energy what is the source of our main source of our energy it is carbohydrates now why do we get tired because we are applying muscular force and we are spending our energy so that's why we get tired after doing physical activities now here one more point is given the units of work and energy are same because the capacity to do work is called energy so that's why the units of work and energy are same now work and energy are, are both measured in the unit named joule in SI system SI units what is SI system international unit it is joule in SI system of units that is system international units okay so thank you for watching have a good day